One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, here today to talk about the man himself. Probably one of the last times we will be discussing him on the channel because it looks like his time with the Jacksonville Jaguars is all but over. And of course, that man is. Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles, he's given us good moments, he's given us bad moments, he's given us funny moments as well. He has been Duval till he dies. But unfortunately, in a theoretical sense, he is going to die as soon as the Jaguars officially sign Nick Foles. And today, the news broke that a lot of teams are showing interest in trading for Blake Bortles. Bortles, ladies and gentlemen. Now, today we are going to be breaking down three teams that could possibly be interested in trading for Blake Bortles and what we can get out of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Who Will Win the Blake Bortles Sweepstakes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we dive into this and talk about the teams that I think the Jags could trade Blake Bortles to and what they could get out of them. I want you to know that this is not based on really any reports. This is just tree thinking exactly what teams could make a play for him and what we could get out of them. I had three that I think are pretty realistic. And the first team is going to be the least likely. And then the second, a little bit more. And the third, probably the most likely. So this one is the Arizona Cardinals. Now there's just been discussion amongst discussion about what the Cardinals are going to be doing with that number one overall pick. A lot of people are talking about Kyler Murray being the selection at number one. Cliff Kingsbury said uh, prior to coming into the NFL that if he had the number one overall pick, he'd take Kyler Murray. And that's been the storyline this year. In the NFL draft is what are the Cardinals going to do with the number one overall pick. And a lot of people are leaning towards the Kyler Murray thing. Um, I don't know. And then, you know, the Cardinals have announced that Josh Rosen is in fact on the trade block. So here's what I got uh, from Arizona. I got Josh Rosen in a sixth round pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars for Blake Bortles and a third round pick. So obviously uh, they're not going to do Bortles for Rosen straight across. You're going to have to give them a little bit more in order to, you know, really convince them to get Josh Rosen in to Jacksonville. So with that being said, you give them Bortles who will be their backup quarterback and a third round pick which is really high. The Jags have two of them, so it is more than all right to trade one of those third-round picks in order to get a guy like Josh Rosen and an extra six-round pick. Josh Rosen can sit behind Nick Foles and really learn like he should have in Arizona. He had a real Blake Bortles situation in Arizona where he was young and just got tossed into the fire and wasn't really ready to do so. So uh, coming into Jacksonville, Rosen will be able to sit behind Nick Foles, really learn the John Day Filippo system and be able to learn from a Super Bowl MVP quarterback in Nick Foles. So having Rosen on the team is not necessarily a bad thing, especially now that the Jags really seem like they're not going to be drafting a quarterback, at least not until later on. And then you got Josh, you can trade for Josh Rosen, who's a former first round pick, who really does have a high ceiling and some potential to be really good uh, in some cases. So, you know, trading over a third rounder, Blake Bortles to get him in a sixth rounder in exchange, I think is a good move in order to have a former first rounder on your bench. So either in the four years when this contract expires, Rosen can take over or maybe even a full shits the bed and chokes, Rosen will be there on the bench to take over. So, well, maybe we will see Rosen in black and teal in exchange for Blake Bortles to be in the red and yellow. Coming in at number two, I have the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins have been linked to Blake Bortles even in the situation that the Jags cut him. Um, so why not get more value out of him? I see a lot of people saying, you know, just cut him. It's not worth, you know, trying to find somebody to take on that contract. But I think, you know, trying to get something out of Blake would be a little bit more important, at least in my opinion, I'd like to trade him. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, my boy could keep making that money. Anyway, but trading him to Miami because Ryan Tannehill, 
obviously is no longer the quarterback. Uh, the Dolphins aren't necessarily in prime position to draft a good uh, rookie quarterback. So, you know, they might be holding on to next year. And if they want to tank, tank with Blake Bortles, ladies and gentlemen. Miami, trust me, if you're looking to tank, Blake Bortles will do exactly that for you. So that's what in this situation I'm thinking Miami might do. So I got a six-round pick straight up for Blake Bortles. And, you know, it's hard. It sucks because, you know, Bortles was obviously in 2014 the first quarterback taken off the board, and now we're just getting six-rounders from him. But you look at the landscape of the NFL and trades these days. None, No one really ever gets traded for a, you know, first-round pick unless it's a little questionable, and you're kind of like, wow, a first-round pick. I mean, look at Antonio Brown, for example, a second and a fifth round to the Raiders. I'm still I'm still just in awe and shock over that. That is just completely and utterly insane to me, but that's not what we're talking about. We're here to talk about Blake Bortles and trading Bortles to Miami might be a good idea. Now, with the free agent quarterbacks that are available right now, we got Tyrod Taylor, obviously their former guy, Ryan Tannehill. There's not a lot of guys in free agency right now that is going to be that's going to make that impact, you know, to help this team win football games. So, you know, they're kind of in a position to tank right now. So why, you know, and, and, and this wouldn't make much sense for uh, – Miami, if they were going to take to take up Blake Bortles' contract, but you know the Miami front office has been known to do sillier things. So, may I have a feeling, even if it is a trade or if he gets cut, Blake Bortles is going to be going to Miami. I think Miami is the most uh, realistic landing spot for Bortles. Like I said, via trade or uh, via free agency if we do just cut him and not trade him but there obviously is a market for Bortles so you know Codwell is going to try and abuse that market and make sure that he can find something that he can get out of Bortles and uh trading him to Miami for a six round pick definitely is not a bad idea in any way and lastly the other team that I've been hearing that's connected to Bortles quite a bit is the New England Patriots and it's not even necessarily so Bortles can take over I think it's just to have another backup quarterback Brian Hoyer I think he's either on the last year of his contract if he's not he's also getting old Bortles will be a little bit more of a reliable backup than that of Brian Hoyer uh, and you know coming off the bench you know, and you don't really have to worry about that being behind Tom Brady the best quarterback to ever play and you know being behind him maybe Bortles will pick some things up and be able to you know better his game and be a starter again sometime down the road uh, due to his time with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady the thing is is that we can get a fifth rounder out of New England for Bortles and a sixth rounder and you know we'll see what Bortles can do in New England I think that that's a system that he would strive in uh, as a starter, obviously he would not be doing that because Tom Brady is in there. But the system that they run, I think, would be uh, have a lot of potential for Bortles to be successful in. And I think that it makes a lot of sense that if Bortles goes somewhere and, you know, he want you know, the, the more appealing place for Bortles to go is clearly New England. Because, I mean, a chance to get a ring, a chance to go to the Super Bowl, you know, a chance to play behind Tom Brady. And I think that, you know, Miami and New England are really likely. Those are the two teams that if the Jags are going to trade them, I think that those are the two teams that have the best chance at landing Blake Bortles. Arizona is kind of a reach. Um, I really want that to happen though because you know I've, I've talked a lot of things about Josh Rosen about how I wouldn't trade a first round pick for him because he threw more picks and touchdowns you know things like that but now in the situation that we're in with Nick Foles being the quarterback and we would like to have a uh you know, younger option coming off the bench and it looks like the Jags aren't going to be drafting a quarterback in the first round. So <clears throat> with all that being said, I think that Rosen would be a good thing to come off the bench for the Jags, especially because, you know, we don't have a backup quarterback right now, do we? I don't think we have a backup quarterback right now. So, you know, getting a backup quarterback in Josh Rosen, uh, that would be a huge, huge move. Uh, Cody Kessler is still on the roster, I think. So, you know, and we don't want we don't want Cody Kessler no more. Kind of like how we don't want to play Bortles no more. Like, we, you know, we don't want that bad juju. But, again, we're here to talk about the Patriots. Kind of got lost off topic talking about Josh Rosen a little bit. But I think uh, New England for a fifth round for Bortles and a sixth would make a lot of sense. You know, this is a quarterback that would sit on the bench in New England. Uh, he's a little mobile. I think that he'd bring um, he'd bring some swagger to New England. I think that uh, he'd be able to 
dominate in the preseason. <laughs> you know, he'd be the face of the Patriots in the preseason. So, again, I'm not saying that Boros is going to get traded there to even take over for Brady when he retires. Because I think in two years they're going to draft one of those exciting rookies that's supposed to come out in the upcoming drafts. Uh, so Bortles is a good stopgap guy at the second string position for the New England Patriots. And that was three possible spots for Blake Bortles to land. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you're feeling also generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Troop Talks. Also, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.